Welcome, Leah. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the year 2021. Let's look at your reading and see what is happening and transpiring. So, Leah, we are looking at the year in the first six months and the second six months. So this is the first six months, January, February, March, April, May, and June, okay? So, um, let's first look at the first six months and then um, we move forward. So the first um, month of January is water, is the water energy, and it is about some sort of a secrecy that was kept against some of you, Leo, or you had some sort of a secrecy, Leo, that um, came out in the month of January, and I see um, you were not open for this information to come out. I can see that they're going to be finding out about the connection between you, Leos, and a Capricorn man. All right, so some sort of a secrecy um, that you, Leos, and a Capricorn man had some sort of a secret contract together, and well, and this is going to be coming out. Or um, if your boss is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, that you had some sort of a business secrecy with this person, and what this uh, that you are connected to this person in some way, and you could have had an affair with this person in some way, and the truth is coming out. So what is happening? It could be your boss or um, someone who brought you in a company and they're going to be finding out the secrets between you and this person um, that you had an affair, that sort of a thing. Um, and they're going to be realizing what was happening. Then I see the energy in February um, is that a lot of you are having some sort of a hardship. Is it hardship um, because the secrets have come out or is it that uh, a lot of you are having hardship finding a job or that sort of a thing? Um, I see some sort of uh, um, information and secrecy there. We're going to be finding out that uh, a, um, a, a, um, a Virgo businessman and you Leos were having some sort of an affair. Because here is the energy of the cup of love and this man and some sort of affair with this man and the, the information is coming out and it's going to be affecting a lot of you leos now some of you leos business people could be having a whole lot of hardship in the month of february or a, whole, a lot of hardship is coming up in the month of february how you're going to be coping and dealing with this hardship i see truths is coming out then as we look at the month of march the month of march is air energy because uh, um, clarity is coming in in the month of March. Whatever that was happening, I see they are finding out some sort of a secrecy about you, Leo. So, Leo's, you got to be aware because if you don't want a secret to come out, whether or not you want it to come out, the eye princess is here. That is going to be bringing out you, Leo's secrets, and clarity is going to be coming out, and they're going to be finding out what has been happening and transpiring. And you, Leo's, have to be on top of your game um because some sort of unexpected information and clarity some of you could be having clarity in uh, the month of uh, um march so this could be a situation where a lot of you leos is having clarity in the month of march so the first three months of this year is um is water fire and hair water fire and hair and what is transpiring with water fire and hair is about uh, um, you know, you know, bittersweet is a bittersweet quarter is going to be coming up for you guys because of uh, whatever is transparency, clarity is going to be coming through and a, a lot, a lot of information and information that was kept is going to be re revealed and people are going to be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring. So expect the first three months um, you know, really powerful is going to be coming in. If you want to know what is going to be affecting you, you can follow us by using the join button in order to connect with us. Then as we look at the second quarter, you're dealing with a boss. This boss is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, whoever this person is, has a love for some of you Leos or had some sort of a um, contract unbonded contract with you um and whatever this unbonded contract is i see that a taurus virgo or a capricorn is going to be showing you some sort of uh, um affection okay 
and did, some of you, Leo, was in, involved with this person and whatever is happening in Transpire, um, you were involved with this person and uh, they, you know, they're showing you some sort of affection and it's going to be trying to help you to um, get back another job. So people are realizing and seeing exactly what was happening and transpiring. And they realize that um, some of you, Leo, was had some sort of a um, relationship with a Virgo man or with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn man. So it's going to be coming out. Then we see in the month of May, some sort of, uh, some of you, Leo, some uh, appreciation. Some of you um, will show appreciation or will get some sort of appreciation coming to you from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. However, this is happening and transpiring. So be aware of this and uh, um, you're going to be alerting yourself as to what has been happening and transpiring. So yeah, um, that is going to be one of the situation that is transpiring. Um, then we realize and we are seeing the transition that is happening and transpiring and with work in June. So some sort of a, um, people are going to be finding out and it's going to be really realizing what was happening to work in the month of June and people are going to be really seeing what was happening and transpiring. So June, um, some of you could be receiving some sort of a work, some sort of a job, some sort of a opportunities that is going to be coming in and is going to be um, resolving some sort of an issue. Um, so the first six months, um, people are going to be finding out, finding work. So if you're looking for work, March and uh, June is going to be good. Try May also. Um, some sort of a problem is there. If your boss is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, I see some sort of a, um, affection. They're going to be realizing that uh, um, you and your boss had some sort of an affair. Um, this is going to be coming out and people are going to be aware of this that was going on. So be aware as we look at your second half, we're looking at your second half and we are uh, trying to understand what is going on in the second half of this year and how um, things are going to be shifting and changing. In the month of July, um, some of you are going to be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man. Okay, so be aware of this. Whoever this man is, I see this man is going to be realizing um, um, a whole lot of things because this man is going to be receiving some sort of a, a stability. But I, I don't know what is going on with you, um, um, Leos, because I see you, Leos. I see that the spicy skin or a scorpion man is finding out and is receiving some sort of information about you, Leos, and is realizing. Um, so it could be your boss um, is finding out some sort of information about you, Leos, and is going to be realizing the play that was basically going on. Then as we look at um, the month of uh, uh, August, um, in the month of August, some of you Leos are dealing with a young um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, man or woman. And, you know, whoever this person is, um, this person is going to be trying to get you out of a situation. But I see this person is also um, stuck in some sort of a problem. Um, and you will, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, you are trying to get out and figure out the best way and being to get out of a situation. Um, then in the month of September, I see a lot of you are going to be thinking of leaving a job behind, looking for a new job in the month of September, a lot of you. Um, so the reason why it is up to you, but I see um, a lot of you Leos are going to be thinking about changing a career in the month of September. And you are going to be standing up and really changing your career for something um, else and leaving this behind and moving forward. Wow. So this third quarter is that a lot of you are dealing with uh, the water sign people, both young and old. And you're going to be realizing that uh, it is better that you walk away and um, turn your back to those opportunities, this job, uh, this position, because you're getting a fight uh, from a two, um, both old and young water sign people. 
we're looking at the third and last quarter and the third and last quarter is that i see some sort of a um, stability you're open for some sort of a stability you businessmen are uh, open for some sort of a financial help to come in from a pisces cancer or scorpion man in order to help you to restore to your business and i see that you um business people are trying to find some sort of a financial help to um restore your business and and and, and create uh, some sort of a stability for your business and yourself okay so i see a lot of you could be changing jobs and starting a new job in october in november i see financial help i see this is good if you have a business money is going to be coming in people are going to be helping you i see a lot of opportunities and doors is going to be opening up in the month of november so this is going to be good so november could be picking up business could be picking up for some of you um some of you whatever new start you have made this could be um you know showing some sort of a new site of yes uh, this is going to be working out and in the right and um, the right way okay so this is going to be good so whatever um the situation is and the alignment of energy I see that this could be working out. Then we um, look at December. December is a fire energy. So you're ending this year, um, you know, overcoming all of the obstacles that was created for you. And December is going to be looking much better because I see that in December, a lot of you leaders and business people are going to be overcoming and coming out of this year being victorious and successful in work and business so this is a wonderful wonderful so in work and business you're going to be really overcoming some sort of an issue some sort of a situation um that was happening and transpiring and um creating some sort of a positive situation in order to create some sort of a balance and you're ending the year being victorious and successful overcoming all the issues that has transpired so i see some sort of a secret affair is going to be coming to light in a company um that some of you leos had some sort of a secret affair with someone in a company and i see a pisces cancer scorpion is going to be revealing this uh, and and letting people know that you were having an affair with a boss okay but um you're going to be overcoming this in any way then we see the stories where, where Capricorn man is in some serious, serious trouble. So it could be your boss who you had an affair with is in some serious trouble because I see um, that a lawsuit might be hitting this man. Whoever the stories where, where Capricorn man is, uh, this Virgo man or Taurus where, where Capricorn man is really in some problems, financial problems with his business. I see that a Pisces cancer or a Scorpion man is going to be trying to help it help you out to, to come out of a situation in order for you to have a new start okay so um whoever this um man is so i see a taurus virgo capricorn uh, man could be a boss or your supervisor but whoever you had an affair with with a company they know and they found this out and i see this man is going to be having some real serious uh, complication and problems so be aware of this uh, wow so leos a good year a good year you're coming out even though your secret came out in the beginning of the year um you're coming out um you know getting out of an issue and a situation and it's going to be powerfully moving forward so this is going to be good whatever that the, there was and whatever problem there was that was playing i see transition is going to be coming up in your world and you're going to be overcoming um the obstacles your money month is going to be the month of july um uh june and november so june and november um for business people june and november is going to be the month where you're going to be seeing financial stability is going to be coming in and this is going to be um really really wonderful um december is going to be good okay so may is as if may could be for some of you where some sort of a new business offer or some sort of a new business comes in in may 
and uh, you're going to be realizing this and seeing what was happening and what was transpiring and it's going to be aware of uh, um, some sort of a situation that was in the past is coming back in the future and information is going to be coming out and people are going to be aware of what was happening it is still a good month because you come out victoriously successful so um, congratulations namaste if you would like to see the extended of this reading follow us to the other side use the blue button that says join and you can join and follow us you can take uh, um, the third abandonment, that's where you'll find this extended reading. Namaste.